anyone who chooses to follow Jesus and really commit to him walks through the fire. It is written that our God is a consuming fire. You can read that in Hebrews chapter 12. But for those who put their faith in Jesus, they will walk through the fire and not be burned, just as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Jesus is in the fire, and he protects his children. To those who live unholy, who reject the truth of God, who do not fear God, they are burnt up as a fire consumes wood. But for those who put their faith in Jesus, all the chaff is burnt out of them, and what remains is purity. If we walk with Jesus, we're as the burning bush. Remember when Moses saw the burning bush, it was written that the bush was burning but not consumed. Remember also how the early apostles, the early Christians, at Pentecost had the Holy Spirit fire on their head like tongues. It burned, but they were not consumed. And if we're with Jesus, we will walk through the fire and not be burned because Jesus is with us. The fire comes for us through trials, tribulations. Wherever you stand up for Jesus, that will be your battleground. Wherever you are standing up and resisting Satan, that is where Satan's going to fight you back, and that is where you're going to either be burned and consumed and destroyed, or where you will walk through the fire with Jesus unharmed. If we stick with Jesus, we will be burning, but we will not be consumed. And that is because the Holy Spirit does not burn off of our body. The Holy Spirit has his source in God because he is God. He will burn up all the chaff that is in us, but he isn't burning off of us. When fire burns wood, the fuel is the wood, but the fuel of the Holy Spirit is God. That is why the bush was not consumed, and that is why if we are with Jesus, we will not be consumed. Will the fire for you consume you, or will you walk through it because you are with Jesus? Stick with Jesus, and he will bring you through the fire unharmed. May the grace of Jesus be with you.